Our story today is an extravagant story of a Christian hero who changed the greatest nation in the world in its era. This is the one and only Saint Mark the Apostle who went to preach in Egypt and destroyed the idols when he walked in the streets. He convinced millions of people to adopt the Christian faith. Let me introduce you to the family of this great hero. First, St. Mark's father is called Aristopoulos. His mother's name is Mary. He has an uncle by the name of Barnabas. St. Mark was a friend of St. Paul. Also, St. Mark was related to St. Peter because St. Peter was married to a relative of St. Mark's father. St. Mark was from a Jewish family, but this family emigrated to Cyrene, which is a city in modern-day Tunisia. This is the place where St. Mark was born. St. Mark lived in Cyrene for many years with his family, but they faced many hardships, like being robbed and threatened. So they went back to their home country, Palestine. This time, it was when our Lord Jesus Christ became incarnated and was living on earth. And by divine preparation, St. Mark came closer to our Lord Jesus Christ. And St. Mark's house became the place where our Lord Jesus Christ congregated and met with his disciples. Like I have told you, St. Mark grew up in Palestine. When St. Mark became a youth, he always liked to go for a walk with his father Aristopoulos. One time, he was out walking with his father Aristopoulos near the Jordan, and once of a sudden, two lions, a male and a female, came out of the bushes and stood in front of them and started walking slowly toward them. So Aristopoulos told his son, My son, run away because you are still young and I will sacrifice myself. But St. Mark told his father, Do not be afraid, my father, for Jesus Christ, in whom I believe, will save us from the lions. And he started praying to God, then the two lions fell dead. His father was amazed, and he glorified God, our Lord Jesus Christ. And from that time, he became a Christian, a very devout believer. Also, Mary, the mother of St. Mark, also became a devout believer and believed in our Lord Jesus Christ. So St. Mark was very fortunate to have two good parents who encouraged St. Mark to continue his strife. The parents of St. Mark were rich, so they were able to build a two-story house in the village of Cana of Galilee, which was near Jerusalem in Palestine. When St. Mark's father went to heaven, St. Peter went to St. Mark's house and he took care of St. Mark and he considered him his own son. But the house of this holy family was very, very blessed. This house was the house that our Lord Jesus Christ stayed in. He ate in it. He slept in it whenever he went to Jerusalem. This house is where our Lord Jesus Christ gave communion, the first communion, to his holy and blessed apostles. Moreover, this house is where the Holy Spirit descended like tongues of fire on the heads of the apostles 
and the disciples. When the Holy Spirit descended upon St. Mark, it actually changed his character. Let me tell you, when St. Mark was born, his parents gave him the name of John, which means God is gracious. But his name became St. Mark when the Holy Spirit descended upon him. When the Holy Spirit descended upon St. Mark, it gave him a new characteristic, a new courageous character. And thus, he was called Mark, which means hammer. Now, St. Mark was ready to preach the good news with Saints Barnabas and Paul. St. Mark went with St. Paul the Apostle in his first evangelical trip to Cyprus. After Cyprus, St. Paul the Apostle went to Pamphylia, which is in Asia Minor or modern-day Turkey. But St. Mark went back to Palestine. No one exactly knows why St. Mark the Apostle went back to Palestine and didn't continue on on his trips with St. Paul. Maybe St. Mark had a certain disease like malaria which was common in Cyprus or maybe he just didn't like the preaching to the Gentiles and he wanted to preach to the Jews regardless of the cause this will come to a benefit which we will learn about in a while when Saint Paul and Saint Barnabas were ready to go on their second missionary trip Saint Barnabas asked Saint Paul to take Mark with them this time, but this time St. Paul said no. He didn't want St. Mark to be with them. So St. Barnabas told him, Paul, now you have become very strong and you don't need my help anymore. Therefore, I will go and help my cousin, St. Mark. St. Paul, however, wanted somebody to preach the gospel with him and to be his companion and his supporter. So St. Paul chose a young and blessed man by the name of Silas and he took him and he became his companion. Then St. Barnabas and St. Mark went to a different country. They went to Cyprus to preach God's word. Afterward, St. Mark wanted to preach in a new country. So St. Mark went forth to preach in Egypt, while St. Barnabas stayed in Cyprus to continue on his missionary work. By the way, St. Mark and St. Paul became friends again, and St. Paul even said that St. Mark would be profitable to me in my service, and he sent an epistle to the Colossians telling the Colossians to accept and welcome St. Mark. After St. Mark finished his service in Cyprus and went back to Egypt, he walked a lot in Egypt and his sandals became torn. Therefore, St. Mark went to a shoemaker, to a tanner by the name of Enianos. Enianos was a very skilled man in his job, but once of a sudden, the needle cut through his fingers and his hand and he started shouting and saying, O oh, the only and one God, O oh, the only and one God. Saint Mark quickly ran to him and he told him, Do you know the only and one God? And Janus told him, No, sir. So Saint Mark told him, I will tell you about the only and one God. Indeed, Saint Mark told Saint Inianus about our Lord Jesus Christ, he baptized him, and Inianos became Christian, and later Inianos became the first bishop over Egypt, while Saint Mark was the first patriarch. Saint Mark preached Christianity to millions of Egyptians, and he established a very strong Coptic Orthodox Church. St. Mark established the school of Alexandria, which was the biggest school 
for theological studies. St. Mark also made the first liturgy, which was translated by St. Cyril, and therefore was called the Liturgy of St. Cyril, made by St. Mark. The presence of St. Mark in the streets would destroy the idols and make it fall down and be broken. Therefore, the pagans hated him so much. Until one day, after many years of preaching Christianity and converting millions of Egyptians to becoming Coptic Orthodox Christians, the pagans decided to murder St. Mark. So they tied his neck around a rope and dragged him in the city. His body became so bruised and his blood gushed out of his body and he received the crown of martyrdom and his pure soul went to heaven to intercede for us. May the prayers and the blessings of this holy and blessed hero of the Coptic Orthodox Church be with all of us. Amen.